Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. I've been super busy out here in my workshop and just in life in general. And decided to take a little break from my typical content creation with tutorials and that kind of thing. But I've been very active out here. Um, and as you can see, I have something here which is fairly large in the corner of my workshop. So I freed up that space here to allow for my new project which some of you might have seen already on my socials, but my new project is a custom built CNC machine. So this work area here on this bench is four foot by three foot, and the machine itself will have a slightly smaller workable area. Um, but why am I building this CNC machine? Well, the main reason really is I've always wanted a bigger machine and if you have a look around on manufacturer websites at industrial type of machines you know you you'd be spending around 10 grand to get something fairly large or for something of this size it'd be anywhere between sort of five and ten thousand pounds which is a lot of money especially if you're a hobbyist I mean you're not running a sort of commercial setup where you can put them on loan and that type of thing. So my goal with this project was to simply build a large CNC machine for as low a cost as possible without sacrificing too many features and keeping it user friendly in the sense that I'm not using tools that most hobbyists wouldn't have available. This whole project requires no welding, everything will be bolted together if you've got a drill press, a basic drill, and a mitre saw, you can pretty much do everything I'll be doing here. So that makes it exciting for you guys because it means you could potentially do this as well. I haven't got any fancy tools whatsoever. I try to be very minimal because I'm in a small workshop. So let's talk about the stand. So CNC stands typically, if you buy an industrial type of machine, they'll have a huge welded steel frame which gives you the most rigidity there's no arguing with that that being said like I said I'm not a welder most people out there aren't welders they don't have that skill set or the tools to do it a decent welder machine is expensive so in this case what I've gone for is timber 3 by 2s and I've made this extremely sturdy frame and I've put the whole thing on casters so this table can be moved around, in and out. I can spin it all the way around, put it wherever I want. And that's necessary for a machine of this size because the whole machine is gonna be built using aluminum plate, similar to this. In some cases it's thicker than this. So it's gonna be very heavy, right? When you build this thing, it could be up to 100 kilo or more, and you're not gonna be moving that around when it's built. So having something that can roll around your workshop is essential. It makes cleaning a lot easier. You can just get in behind. And in general, when you want to move it to a different location in the future, it just saves you a lot of hassle. So the total cost for this thing was actually not too bad here in the UK. I've used high quality screws um, and the casters as well. All in, it was just shy of 200 pounds which for something as sturdy as this is not bad at all. I should have this for life. Um, even if you're not looking to build a CNC, this is a good workbench in general. If you want to put a topper on this piece of OSB, which I might actually do, I've got a bit of spare down there. This is a great workbench that you can use for woodworking or whatever. Um, you can get all the way around it, obviously, because you can move it. So did this relatively low cost very well built and I'm extremely happy with it. So at this point my next stage is to start building the actual machine but before that what I'm going to do is practice a little bit working with metals so I've not done much machining um, really in regards to this type of stuff. <clears throat> so as I said the whole machine is going to be um, bolted together so I need to drill and tap holes accurately 
in this type of material. So I've got myself a pillar drill, which I'm going to use to just practice on this practice piece of material, which is what this is. So I'd rather make all my mistakes and learn everything on this piece than on the actual pieces, which are quite expensive. And I'm in no rush. Even if I need to buy more practice material, I'll go and do that. Um, but it should be fun. I've not worked with metal plate like this before. So it's definitely going to be a learning experience, which I'm really excited about. And that's, again, partly why I love to do things like this is, yeah, I get a nice machine out of it at the end, but the things I'm going to learn along the way whilst trying to build this are valuable things that I think you can take forward to any other project. So, you know, yes, I could have easily bought something off the shelf, paid a bit more, and potentially had a higher quality machine, but for me, the learning is more valuable, and I think the result is going to be fantastic. You know, like I said, <coughs> I've got all the bill of materials broken down. I, I know what I've spent on this to the penny, and I will be sharing that. But its total cost is around £2,300. That includes everything. All the hardware, the electronics, the rails, all the material for the machine, all in. That's how much it's cost me, which is a fairly low cost. There are some other machines out there that are smaller, not as good as what this will be and they're a lot higher than that and if you were to go out there to get an industrial type of machine of this size you'd be looking to pay anywhere between five and ten thousand pounds so i think the route i'm going down here is a very good one particularly for someone in my scenario if you're a hobbyist and you just enjoy doing this kind of stuff it's the way to go so yeah as i said i've got everything all the hardware is over there as well uh, I'll show you that in a different video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update since I haven't posted to the channel in a while. I'm super excited to get back into the video making and getting this machine up and running. So hopefully a few of you will be interested and you want to follow along with this. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, please go over to my website and subscribe to my email list. I'm going to be putting updates just there from now on. I think I'm going to ditch the likes of Instagram and those type of socials because I, I think they're just dying platforms so I have my own platform which is my website so I'm going to go all in on the website and if you want to follow me and keep up to date please go there I'll leave links in the description below I'll release regular updates about this build I'll put some blog posts up as well with details and of course I'll be here making videos along the way whether you want to follow along or you just keen to see how it goes um, yeah I'd really appreciate the support on that so super excited can't wait it's gonna be a great project on the run up to Christmas I hope you learned something and um, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video take care